We begin today with a big change coming to San Diego. After hours of public comment, the city council voted to ban flavored tobacco and e-cigarettes moments ago. Our Misha DeBono starts us off live outside council chambers with what you need to know. Misha. Yeah, good evening. It was a long and sometimes heated discussion. The council did acknowledge that passing this ban would negatively impact businesses that sell these flavored e-cigarettes. But in the end, they voted to initiate this ban, voting 7-2. to two. No offense to any of you council members. It is not up to you. If you want to make this a law, you leave it to the state. The people that are here in opposition of this act don't fi fi find themselves to be morally obligated because they're lining their pockets with, with the proceeds and, and the, the funds. This is how they make their business. Citizens for and against a measure to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes, also known as vapes, in San Diego passionately addressed a packed council meeting Monday. When did it become government's job to raise our children? The measure, known as Safe San Diego, stands for Stop Adolescent Addiction to Flavored E-Cigarettes. It's been spearheaded by council member Marnie Von Wilpert, who showed advertising it's clearly marketing to young people. This is the worst offender of e-nicotine liquid, and it uses the word candy in its description over and over. Encinitas, Solana Beach, Imperial Beach, and unincorporated San Diego County already have similar legislation on the books, and a state ban is on the November ballot. A lot of uh, young people uh, are being hooked on these products that are highly addictive, more so than regular cigarettes, and they're finding our way, their way into our schools. However, the Neighborhood Market Association and many individual store owners say the ban would destroy their business, and furthermore, it's not for the government to decide. Just last year, in the unincorporated county, of San Diego. A similar flavor ban was not only proposed but implemented. And in less than a year, it has devastated the retailer community. So again, the City Council of San Diego voted 72 to initiate this ban on flavored e-cigarettes and menthol cigarettes as well. The ban will take effect on January 1st, 2023, and they're doing that to coincide with the state ban if voters pass that in November. From downtown San Diego, Misha Bono. Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, thank you for explaining that.